Fellow South Africans, we have come to the conclusion of a fruitful and productive year. We moved a step further this year in fighting poverty, inequality, and unemployment as we continued working hard together to reverse the legacy of apartheid colonialism. Further progress was made in extending services to our people, including housing, water, electricity, accessible education, health care, roads, transport, social grants, and in fighting hunger through public employment schemes and other programs. Most of these services are included in the Constitution as the socio-economic rights that South Africans are entitled to. The year 2017 must be a decisive one for the country as we take the reconstruction and development program forward. Jobs remain high on the list of priorities of our people. In this regard, we must continue to promote unity in action to reignite economic growth. The collaboration between business, labor, and government to support the economy, which is one of the key achievements of the year 2016, must continue in the new year. Importantly, together, we must take the economic transformation program forward. We need to change the commanding heights of the economy and increase the participation of black people as owners and managers. Progress made on the achievement of this goal will greatly enhance the National Reconciliation Program. Business, government, and society must work together on this national imperative. We also need to make meaningful progress on the land reform and restitution program in 2017 in line with the Constitution. As we continue to invest in the future, access to education and training, as well as the provision of youth employment and economic opportunities must remain key priorities for all decision makers in the country. Nation building and promoting social cohesion will need to be elevated in 2017. One of the key tasks in this regard should be a heightened fight against racism. All institutions and businesses must promote inclusion and non-racialism. Nobody must be excluded on the basis of color or race through subtle and unconstitutional means. <clears throat> Compatriots, we will mark two important centenaries next year. We will celebrate the centenary of His Excellency Oliver Reginald Tambo, the late president of the ANC and national hero who worked tirelessly so that all South Africans can live in peace, freedom, and democracy. Secondly, we will mark the centenary of the sinking of a ship, the Mendy, in which scores of black soldiers died on the 21st February 1917. The two 
centenaries must be used to unite all our people in appreciation of what the country has achieved against all odds in building a new society from the edges of apartheid colonialism. We are one people. Regardless of the challenges we face, we must continue to work together to build the South Africa of our dreams. Compatriots, we congratulate Christians, including religious leaders, as well as all in the country, for a successful and joyous Christmas. We also extend our heartfelt condolences to all who lost their loved ones during the festive season. May their souls rest in peace. We thank our law enforcement agencies, especially the police and traffic authorities, for ensuring order and peace during the holidays. We also acknowledge <coughs> healthcare professionals and other public sector workers, retail and hospitality sector staff, the media, and all others who are on duty during the holidays. We reiterate our call to all road users to obey the rules of the road. Irresponsible behavior costs lives. We wish you all a happy, successful, productive, and prosperous new year 2017. I thank you.